All right, first and foremost, give all praise to you. How about Shimmy Abba a thumb? Uh, give us a self greeting to all the brothers and sisters scattered across the four corners teaching this word with sincerity and charity. I'm Brother Phineas, uh, Prince of Power Israelites. Uh, just to give an update on um, my family situation, dealing with my father being ill. Uh, he ended up having COVID. Um, he's being treated. He's on the ventilators, unfortunately. He was fortunately. And um, I really wanted to, man, just to give a disclaimer on I know a lot of us are trusting in oppression, thinking that this thing is going to give us this full immunity uh, to these plagues that the Most High is bringing down of this judgment that he's putting forth on this earth. Um, and it's not, man. These things, this, this thing, this thing has it, it's been ushered in through wickedness, through sin, through transgressions. And uh, as this earth waxes cold, these plagues and these pestilences and these earthquakes and these and these wars and rumors of wars are just going to continue to be stirring up uh, during these period of what we consider to be the end times. But <clears throat> your covering, your spirit uh, needs to be covered by the Most High, by His Spirit, all right, by that Holy Spirit. We understand that He is our refuge, our strength. You can see that in Psalms 46. Uh, he is our refuge, our strength, our help in the time of trouble. Drop down to verse 7. Um, the Lord Almighty. The God of Jacob is our is our fortress, and so we have to understand that. And now, don't trust in oppression, and 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 be so trusting that you you feel like you don't have to take the precautions um, that 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 are necessary to keep yourself away from this thing. You know what I'm saying? But um, more more than that, more than wearing a mask, more than staying six feet away or ten feet away. More than staying out of large groups, um, we need to make sure that we're spiritually uh, covering ourselves uh, with the word of the Most High, man. Cleansing ourselves. More than sanitizing, sanitizing our hands with alcohol, we need to be cleansing and sanitizing ourselves uh, with the word of God. And you can see that in Psalms 119.9, also in Ephesians 5 and 26. Um, so, um my father is has stabilized he's um but he is on the ventilators like i said uh they say it's 40 percent uh doctor saying man no news is good news so we in the dark on a lot of these things um so i'm gonna be in columbus until he until he recovers man i gotta do what i have to do now and i thank the most high that i'm you know what i'm saying that i'm able to even do that too um being you know what i'm saying being self-employed to be able to uh, move my business down and um, and be in a position to uh, take the load if my father does get into a situation like he has gotten into. Um, but it's a lot of lessons in there. So we'll, I'll be dropping a lot of videos on um, on some of the things that, done, that came across my heart, came across my spirit uh, in these times. Uh, but I want to just Israel to know, man, just to make sure that you're covering yourselves properly, man. That you're covering yourself spiritually uh, because this thing can jump on you. This thing can jump on you. Don't don't take this thing lightly. Don't take this COVID thing lightly. I know y'all kicking the bobo. Y'all vacationing. Y'all in the parties. But man, this thing can hit you and your life can change instantly. Instantly. Right? And it's also... Also dealing with, you know, dealing with your mate. And see, I was saying, I don't want to go into those things. But I'll give you this. Even dealing with your significant others, man. Making sure that you have certain certain, um, certain game plans into um, that you have these things established and understood. That, okay, well, if this happens or if something happens to me, then this is in order and this is in order. You know, a lot of brothers talked about the, the life insurance and the medical insurance and we have in these things, especially now in this time of trouble, in these end times, in these times of pestilence and plague, we definitely need to have these things uh, in order. All right, in order. And I feel like that's one of the things my dad waited so long to try to get help because he didn't feel like he had things in order. He didn't, he didn't feel like that. Uh, somebody was going to be there to take care of the grandkids or somebody was going to be, if, well, if I would have been able to step in uh, to do that, would I be able to leave the situation in Atlanta to come back to Columbus to do that? And, um, you know, that, that could have cost him. 
You know what I'm saying? That, you know, that he could have been checked himself in. could have been checked himself in months ago. Um, because there are also some other preconditions that we have. And, and we have to stop ignoring things. That's another lesson. And so these are some of the lessons I'm going to be bringing for understanding, um, making sure that you have uh, things in order. You have things established, um, not working, not waiting for the perfect condition to seek help. All right. To 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 make sure that your your, your spirit is re being replenished to make sure because you could give all to other people, man. You can spend your oil helping other people, but you got to make sure that you're replenishing your oil uh, four times in need for yourself. And for your family. So, you know what I'm saying? We will, uh, like I said, we will be doing a Zoom class uh, this Shabbat. Uh, I will be teaching Zoom class, y'all willing. And um, Wednesday classes still in the air. Um, but, I, I, you know, I am leaning towards uh, doing that again also on Wednesdays. Uh, I will be back in Atlanta Sunday. Just for briefly, just to get a few orders out with the embroidery. Um, so if anybody want to touch bases, I will be at the school uh, this Sunday. So keep my family in prayers, Israel. Um, I definitely keep Israel in prayers. Uh, continuing to uh, pray that the most I continues to keep us covered. Uh, especially all those brothers and sisters laboring um, out there on the street, on the highways and byways to deliver this word. Uh, Shalom.